Welcome to Genuine Cora guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the JFX notes list from the JPhoenix material design library. And this component, this node is very much similar to the floating action button that we have seen in our Android devices. So, what it does is when I click on this, I get I will get a number of options and I haven't added any even handlers to this yet but I can easily add these are just buttons and I can add events to this button and this is another set of nodes which when I click on this it will be shown and there are two more simple components and one more hierarchical component so in this video I will show you how to develop such a nodes list in using jphoenix library so this is the code in this code in this tutorial i will not be using any scene builder since this is easier to build from the code and i'm going to remove all of this okay that's fine so at this section what i have is i have just one button which is called ss button jfx button which is the button available from the jphoenix library and i have given the name to this button as l1 and i have set the button type to something like raised and now let us run the program as you can ex expect there is nothing is shown because we haven't added this button into our uh, display so in our anchor pane so in case parent dot get children dot add ss button one so i'm just adding this button into my program so i have a simple button and the next thing i want to do is i want to create a number of buttons a number of buttons so i have a button r1 and in this case i'm going for r2 and r3 with same raised type and i don't want this ss button one i want this button two three and this is ss button three this is ss button two and using a jfx nodes this you can create a node of buttons you a list of buttons using this created button so I'm gonna use JFX nodes list node list equal to new JFX node list. So it does not take any parameters. So that's it. Then the next thing I want to use is I want to add the buttons ss button one ss button two and ss button three to this list so that can be done using add animated node method so i'm going to use that so add animated node ss button one so i got the first button on the list second button on the list and third button on the list and instead of adding one button this is into this parent i want to add the list of nodes that is the fx node list into my parent and let's run the program now you can see that there is a button and when i click on this button i'm getting two more buttons and what we want to do is we want to improve the look and feel of these components which can be done using css and that's what i am keeping this as a commander one I want this so I have set I have created this is actually from the jphoenix official documentation they have created a set of styles for animated option button with uh, preference width and background color this is symbol CSS I mean we set the background color of the button we take uh, set the text field to white and border color to white and border radius etc etc and I will explain the use of this one when I use the hierarchy of nodes now so but at this point I will tell you what is this uh, let us set the first set of nodes a color as 
animated option sub button these colors are used to identify or differentiate different list different nodes in the hierarchy so i am setting to just animated option button and animated option sub button and animation option button so that's it ss button dot i want one i want one more so playing the effect to two three so i have added css styling for these three buttons and now let us run the program see we got a beautiful node like uh, what we see in android and it's working and one more thing that is missing is you can actually add the space between two nodes which can be done using node list dot set actually forgot the I need it from the set spacing sorry for that so node list dot set spacing is the one and you can pass the a double value in this case I am passing 20 D in order to make the integer to double so that's it there's the difference I don't want 20 uh, 10 will do so that's it we got a simple list of nodes and let's see how we can make a hierarchy of nodes so 10d 10d is fine so let us add one more node list so I'm gonna reuse this code in order to generate a next list of buttons so let me change the name to a1 or something like that a2 and a3 and ss button 1 can be used so we will use s button that's why there are two s i just want to delete one s for the sake of simplicity ss button 2 ss button 2 ss button 3 ss button 3 ss button 3 so i think we are good to go and you will notice that the theme is set to the same one animator options sub button so you can uh, we haven't added the list there is some more coding that we have to do so what we want to do is we want to create one more nodes list so I'm gonna create one more JFX nodes list and naming it as nodes list 1 and of course I want to add my buttons to the list list 1 dot add animated node and yes button 1 yes button 1 and yes button 2 s yes button 3 so I got these three buttons and the last thing I want to do is I want to add this node to this one so that I can use it uh, in a hierarchical mode and that is done by using node list 1 dot add animated node instead of adding a button I have added this node list and instead of adding this parent or get children dot add node list I want to add node list one and there will be one more issue because it, it, it the node list will be s situated in the top of the window and I want to set it in the middle so I'm going to use the anchor pane anchor pane dot set bottom anchor to the node list one node list one and I want to sit into the center of the screen so parent dot width by two and set bottom anchor to set preferred height by two so now our load list will be on the center of the screen so that's it we got it on the center so when I click on this a1 I got A2, A3 and an extra node R3. So A1, A2, A3 are the elements of the newly created node and we have R1, R2, R3 too. So now let us change the color of these nodes because I don't like the I don't like all of them being 
of the same color and moreover we want to set the spacing for node list one also so i'm going to set node list one dot set spacing to 20 and i want to change the animated sub button and i have created another color button 2 so i'm going to give that to this one okay so this is the first one this is the second and i don't want to go for this height by 2 it will be on the top and that will be better so we got a1 at 2 at 3 and r1 at 2 at 3 and you can repeat the same step for creating one more node i don't think that is necessary because it's very time consuming and boring also so try it yourself all that you have to do is you have to create a set of new buttons and create a new list add all those created buttons and this node list one to your newly created node and add that new recreated node into your parent etc etc and i hope you understood how to use the jfx node list and for the sake of completion let me add one just just one listener to the nodes list suppose i want to change the color of the parent when i click on the button too. so i am adding uh, ss button 2 is not a defined dot add even handler mouse event mouse event dot mouse click and e so that's it <coughs> and let us change the background of parent parent dot set background new background new background fill pain dot value of hash zero zero e1 f a i don't know what that color is let's hope it's a nice one so i have added <coughs> to the r2 button so i have a1 then r1 when i click on the r2 the background color is changed and one more thing that we can do with note list is giving some cool animation uh, that is it will be better if you can give some rotation animation to this a1 and r1 since they are the starting nodes for the remaining part of the list and let's see how we can do that and here the s button is the button a1 so that's well, we want to give animation and the animation can be given easily by using the overrated method in the add animator node actually the add animator node, ha uh, node has two forms the simple one and the one with region and callback and I'm using this callback for this one so it can be done using the new callback and in this array list I mean here you can give some key value method and I have already taken the code and by using this return value return new array list and you can give a rotation property to rotate around 360 degree to the S button one and I think you're already familiar with the rotation animation in Java FX this is the basic Java animation this is having some problem because the expanded when we need the interpolator this is not nodes list we have to use s button 1 and let's run the program so we got a rotation animation for this button so that's it that's how you use a nodes list guys as always thank you for watching and subscribe for more cool videos